Aloha, my lovelies. Here we are doing the readings for all of the signs. This is going to be from Aries all the way to Pisces. Let's look into your love life. Let's see exactly what's going on. And let's dive into it. I call upon all my wise and loving spirit guides, spirits of light and love, my ancestors and archangels, please step forward. Spirits of divination, I call upon thee. I ask you and invoke you. I open myself up as a channel of communication so that I may receive the messages loud and clearly for all of the zodiac signs. Let's look into their love life. Let's see what is unfolding before them for this month of April, the remaining of April, beginning of May. We're going to start off here with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you guys doing, my lovelies? For those of you guys returning, welcome back. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. We have tons of spell videos as well as the Tarot Lessons 101 and tons of new readings. <laughs> All right, my lovelies, let's see what's going on with you guys. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Love and Romance. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, in regards to love and romance. How are you doing, Aries? Hope you guys are doing awesome. All right, let's get to the needy greedy. Here we go. First card is the Six of Swords. You guys are moving on from a situation or getting some clarity in regards to a past situation or something you've been dealing with the past couple of weeks. Um, what they are showing me here is... For some of you guys, there is a burden or some type of, uh, some nagging. So when I say lesson, it could be something that it was very difficult for you to pull away from or to move on from. But I finally see that you guys are going to be moving forward. For some of you guys, it's letting go of certain burdens, certain type of responsibility, especially those of you guys that have been holding on to a relationship based on responsibilities children um anything that has anything that has to do with fear that has kept you from moving forward but i see that finally being released again here the obstacle to overcome is getting to the point of understanding there's no return okay so when i say no return for those of you guys like i said that have been dealing with the situation where um you've been holding on because of responsibilities or even like tying yourself up to a person or relationship because of not wanting to give up i see you guys finally throwing in the towel um for others of you this could be dealing with the person from the past and finally releasing yourself even if you've been separated or there's been some type of separation like from previous years um you're finally completely releasing yourself from this burden now, <clears throat> what I see unfolding for you guys is much cause for celebration. There is a new beginning that is unfolding for you. Now, you got to put your defenses down, Aries, because I do see you guys extremely guarded. This could be because, again, um, the, the holding on to or the feeling of responsibility, feeling like you don't want to give up, feeling like um, responsibility is what I'm hearing. I'm going to be honest with you guys. And what they're telling you here is, you know, when it comes to relationships um, or new connections, you may be a little bit tainted or you may be a little bit iffy about moving on or, you know, getting your feet a little bit wet um, when we're talking about starting or opening yourself up for a new connection. But I do see options around you, Aries. Uh, you got to learn to see things from a very different perspective. Stop being so analytical when it comes to relationships. Uh, don't be very critical when it comes to judging people or their first impressions. Um, kind of open yourself up. You know, the world is your oyster right now. And I do see possibilities for new connections and connections that may uh, turn into something a little bit more long term. Um, because I do see here the Ace of Pentacles. And it's something I prefer to see when we're talking about love and romance. Because this is talking about something that may turn uh, into something stable. It's not something temporary. Uh, but you got to let go of the past. You got to stop holding on to the past. Now, for those of you guys that recently started dealing with a, uh, <clears throat> with a new person, and there are some feelings coming up in regards to, should I guard myself? They're kind of acting a little bit different. Um, is it because they're dealing with someone else? Have they lost interest? 
you got to pull back from those fears areas. You got to detach yourself from past experiences. You need to understand that it's not healthy and it's not good when we carry past traumas into new connections. Um, the reason why I say this here, the hang to man speaking about having the need to see things from a very different perspective and bringing down the sword, uh, meaning don't be so guarded. Don't be quick to think negative or uh, don't be quick to judge people. Okay. All right, my lovelies. Now let's go to Taurus. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. I hope you guys don't mind my nails. I haven't had time. <laughs> We've been so busy with consultations and spell work for clients that I really have not had the time. Um, you know, you guys probably don't care, right? You guys probably don't give a shit, but um, yeah, I just haven't had time. And I had to pretty much cut them because it just was driving me insane. Um, but as you can see, my nail technician really sticks them in there because then are not trying to come out. I got to find the time to go and get that done. Anyways, let's see what's going on with you, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on in your love life. What is unfolding for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus regarding love and romance? Okay, here we go, Taurus. First card is Ten of Wands. Being very stressed, carrying a lot of difficulties or trying to... Uh, carry a little bit too much of the relationship for some of you guys. You may be dealing with someone that is not giving you. Um, it's not giving, I should say. It's more of taking. Um, it's more of feeling like you're the one that has to ask or you're the one that has to make effort to, to make time for them or to set things up or to uh, even, you know, take some time to spend time together. I see you're the one that's doing this. And what they're telling you is you're creating a lot of imbalance in this connection or with the person you're dealing with. Um, it's not a, it's not an even give and take, and you got to kind of take a step back, Taurus. You don't want to put yourself in a situation where they're taking advantage of you or they're expecting for you to carry the relationship. Now, they are speaking here about making a choice or a decision. For some of you guys, um, you may be dealing with a situation where you feel like you're overburdened because the person is just not giving or putting as much effort as you would want. With the temperance, this is something that's been happening or occurring for quite a while. Now, you're at crossroads. There is a need for change, and the only way to receive or experience that change is for you to experience it. Uh, by making a decision or taking a different route, a different approach to this connection. Now, the tower is something that is unexpected, quick, and sudden. So um, there may be some situations for some of you guys. You've been wondering, maybe this person um, only communicates at certain times or they're only coming around um, when you're putting the effort or you're making the effort. But I am hearing for some of you guys, there is information that is going to be coming out. Maybe you're dealing with a person that, whether you're aware of it or not, maybe in a committed relationship, they're probably telling you that uh, they're single, even though they're living with the person, or that they're not dealing with uh, their ex-partner, but children are involved. It's, it's a very misty type of energy here, and I'm going to be honest with you guys. I feel like for some of you guys, this may come as a surprise. You've been experiencing a lot of inconsistency with this person or your person of interest. And it could be potentially because they're dealing with someone else or they haven't completely ended a connection or relationship. Um, even if the circumstance has to do with like, as an example, um, they recently broke up when they met you. Um, and they are or may have been in a some type of separation. However, I do see them revisiting the past. So I do see them being coming around that person from their past and wanting to put effort here. So again, there is a need for clarity. There is a need for um, having open com communication and being completely honest. I feel like the person you've been dealing with hasn't necessarily been uh, lying or deceiving. I just feel like they've, you know, shared certain things, um, but have decided to keep certain things behind the scenes as well. I do see clarity coming out for some of you guys. You could have recently found out that that person was dealing with someone or that they were still dealing with their ex-partner. 
Now, what's unfolding here is there is a conversation that is going to be opening up. And I feel like based on past conversations, their excuse may be like, well, you were aware of it. I wasn't hiding. Yeah, they weren't, but they were also not completely forthcoming. So what they're telling you here is, you know, make the decision if you don't want to put up with drama or you don't want to be put in a position of feeling like you're constantly being confused or you don't know where you stand. You got to be honest with yourself, Taurus. You got to be completely honest and make the choice and decision to choose yourself if they're not willing to choose you. Do you see what I'm saying? Uh, don't allow them to put you in the back burner. Don't allow them to put you on standby just to see what happens. Love yourself a little bit more than that, Taurus. All right, let's go to Gemini. Let's see what's going on with Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's unfolding for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on for my Geminis. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Here we go. All right, Gemini, we're... Whoa. All right, we're starting off with the tower. So there was some type of situation that unfolded that recently um, has completely made you reevaluate your life. For some of you guys, you're taking or making, I should say, life changes. Um, this was something unexpected or it almost feels as if it was unexpected. But I feel like deep down in your heart, Gemini, you kind of knew that it was going to inevitably get to the point where it's at right now. Now, what they're telling you is there's a lot of confusion that's going on regarding the person of interest or your partner um, that you don't have much clarity about. But I feel for a lot of you guys, you're intuitively picking up on certain things. And what Spirit is telling you is listen to your intuition. Um, don't try to excuse their behavior. Don't try to understand their behavior. Take things the way they are unfolding or their way or the way they're acting. Take it as that's the reality of it. So what I mean by this is, as an example, if you were dealing with the person that was almost perfect, right, at some point, um, and then things started getting a bit foggy, a bit confusing, uh, a lot of, you know, a, a, a lot of things just not adding up or the person switching up. It doesn't mean that, oh, I need to understand what, where they're going or what they're going through right now uh, because maybe they're not opening up to me. No, what Spirit is telling you is that's how they are or that's who they are, what they're showing you now. And I'm almost hearing for some of you guys, it's kind of like when relationships end, right? And it gets nasty or people start to act very different than from how they were, or how you knew them. Oftentimes, a breakup will reveal to you a true person's character um, because, again, there is there there's such a thing as, you know, being mature and being adult and addressing certain things. We're not on the same page. I think it's, you know, a waste of time to continuously keep putting effort towards something that is just not working out versus, again, being nasty with it. So I feel like there's a lot of confusion that's going on right now. Um, for some of you guys, it could be a separation. It could be a breakup. For others of you, if you were in a long-term committed relationship, I feel like it's being challenged right now. And again, things are being revealed. You got to be patient through this process, Gemini. Take things as they are. Don't try to excuse, like I said, don't try to excuse people's behaviors or even try to understand them. If at this point they are proactively hurting your feelings or it, giving you the feeling or sensation that they're playing mind games, walk away from that. Give each other some space, some room to figure out what you guys really want. Um, I do see the unfolding. There's going to get a point or there's going to come a point of conversation that's going to unfold where you guys can be honest with each other. Use this in a very positive way and be forthcoming with what it is that you're expecting or what you're wanting from your partner. If they can't get on the same page or if they can't put the same effort that you're willing to put at this point, you kind of be you have to kind of be detached from your emotions and use your mind right now, Gemini. 
Very crucial and very important. Why do I say that? Because if you listen to your heart, you're only going to allow them to continuously keep toying with your emotions. If you're cool and collected and you're seeing things from a very clear perspective, um, not being emotionally invested in the situation, but is this really, you know, are we at a point where it's it's we're not able to work it out and if we're not willing to work it out or we can't forgive and forget about certain things what's the point of holding on to something that inevitably will break um it's kind of like going up a hill um it's kind of like going up a hill when you have rollerblades that you can just kind of roll your way down you know what i mean like i don't know if that's the best metaphor i can give but um you know, the same thing would be like being on um, being on a lake or something and you're on a boat instead of fighting uh, the current of the waves, just go with the waves because you will eventually end up where you're supposed to or where you're meant to versus holding on to something no matter the resistance, no matter the challenges that you're currently going through. If you guys can't be on the same page, what's the point of putting that effort um, now what they are showing me here is for some of you guys, this could be because the person or person of interest has been dealing with other people. Um, as I do have two kings here. Now keep in mind, king doesn't necessarily mean masculine energy. This is a general rating, so it could be female or male. Um, it's more of the energies. And I feel like at some point they were willing to give that opportunity or for some of you guys, it could be rumors about um, a person that they were dealing with that is coming back around or that you will be hearing. Now, for others of you, because the tower is right at the situation, I feel like there's major changes that are happening. And a lot of it, again, we go back to the feeling like they've been hiding or they haven't been completely honest. Listen to your intuition. That's going to be key for this month. For the remainder of this month and the beginning of next month, Gemini. All right, my lovelies. Now let's go to Cancer. Let's see what is unfolding for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to love and romance. In regards to love and romance. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like these readings, definitely comment below. Let me know so that um, we can do more videos like this instead of making each zodiac sign a different video. I feel like uh, not stopping uh, just allows the channel of communication to come through much more clear than uh, stop and pausing and all of that. All right. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Love and Romance. Let's see what's unfolding for Cancers. Here we go. All right, we're starting off with the world card here. So there is a ending cycle for you cancers. For some of you guys, there is an elevation, um, whether it's uh, elevation of taking it to the next level, whether for others of you, it is just dating people with purpose or dating with purpose, I should say. Now, what is up? We have the tower here. Um, so... The obstacle that you need to currently overcome, uh, Cancer, is all to do with going with the flow of life right now. So what do I mean by that? The planet alignments that we have right now are very transformative, especially what's happening in the house of Pisces um, or in the Pisces sign. Um, so for some of you guys, depending where you have that in your natal chart, you're going to be experiencing major transformation here. The world and the tower is whatever world or perception you had about relationships are being completely demolished. They are being completely broken down so that you can further move uh, in the near future, building on solid foundations. So th for some of you guys, this could be, especially those of you guys that were dealing with someone that was either in a commitment or in a long-term relationship and, you know, they were like, we're not on good terms, it's not working out, whatever it is that they were telling you, there is something that is going to be revealed to you from now all the way to the beginning of May that is going to change completely the perception of this person or of this connection and relationship. Now, 
when experiencing this, again, we go back to what is what is happening astrologically. They're aligning. Your spirit guides are aligning you, Cancer. They're aligning you to your higher purpose. If this person is not meant for you, they're going to push you in a way that you are forced to see the true character of this person or what they've been doing behind the scenes that they have not been showing or especially those of you guys that feel like lately you've been um, feeling like you've been let on. There is something of unveiling that is happening. And the reason for this is because spirit is trying to guide you and have finally a breakthrough when we're talking about relationships. Now, for some of you guys, this could be breaking down completely the pattern that you've had when it comes to relationships. There is a need of structure here. For some of you guys, you're very drawn to um, either people that are not emotionally available or people that uh, have a tendency of being committed or recently coming out of relationship. And what they're telling you here, the emperor is present. You need to have structure. You need to be grounded in your approach when it comes to relationships. Having to not um, get to the point of not, not being willing to work with someone that doesn't have their shit together, basically cancer. Um, and, and especially when we're talking about people that are not emotionally available. What they're telling you here is, you know, th there comes a time and point in our life where we have to take a step back and realize, okay, I can't really sit here and blame, you know, why every partner of mine doesn't work out. Why doesn't it go for the long haul? Why this? Why doesn't it work out? Why? Well, it's time for us to look at ourselves in the mirror and realize, well, Am I overly emotionally available? And the moment that someone gives me attention, I start to think in my mind about how great it can turn out without realizing if this person is even emotionally available or putting yourself in a situation where they're telling you, I am in a relationship, but it's not working out. Um, and you're willing to give them that opportunity. Basically what I'm hearing, it's time to stop wasting your time and date with purpose cancer. So again, if they don't have their shit together, stop making excuses. If they don't have, or they're not bringing to the table what you're looking for and what you need in a partner, don't feel bad for them. It's time to pull away from that because I see a lot of emotional manipulation from past relationships. Almost like I'm broken. I need you to be here and save me cancer. You need to learn to walk away from that because it does potentially turn toxic. And this is a trait. This is a habit, something that you have a habit of doing, which is overworking or overstaying in relationships that are only meant to be temporary and not really putting effort toward something that is much more long term. So basically stop wasting your time. There's a major transformation that's happening here for you. I do see for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a Scorpio or a Scorpio will be coming into your life uh, in the next coming weeks where they're going to be much more, much more of what you're not used to. That's if you're not already dealing with them. And you'll catch yourself trying to pull away from this. And the reason for it is because you've been so conditioned to experience uh, only small dosages of love or of commitment or of attention. So whenever you feel like someone is overly giving, you start doubting and questioning a lot because you're not used to that. But what Spirit is telling you, it's time to elevate your standards when we're talking about relationships. Like I said, there is something that is unfolding for you that is going to be uh, greater in potential cancer. But you have to understand that anything that is not working for you right now, stop making excuses for them and completely cut the cord. Why? I don't want you to miss this opportunity that is coming to you for something that is much more substantial and something that is much more long term. All right, my lovelies. OK, let's get into it. We're going now with Leo's. Let's see what's going on with my lovely Leo's. How are you guys doing, Leos? Hope you're doing amazing. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. 
What is unfolding for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance? Love and romance. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You know, I don't understand why Leos have such a bad reputation. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I love Leos. Probably because I'm, you know, pretty, I'm, I'm dark humored. Um, but I love the loyalty that Leos possess. It's, it's, it's amazing. But the difference is a lot of people love to say that Leos love attention, that they love to be the center of attention, which at some point in their life, it's true. Um, but one thing about Leos is the moment they get emotionally invested in someone, they are extremely loyal. I've had many Leos in my life, gone through many of them. <laughs> oh my goodness. All righty, let's get into it, Leo. Here we go. All right, your first card, the higher form, mm, a higher form of commitment for some of you guys. For some of you guys, you're going to be dealing with a Taurus in the next coming weeks. Um, that's if you're not already dealing with them. Take it slow, okay? When I say take it slow, I literally mean don't make yourself too available to this person because I feel that the person that's coming into your life, Leo, it's going to be a person that is very particular. Um, if you make yourself overly accessible, um, you're just going to give them the wrong impression. I know I, I don't need to tell Leo's these because this is, you guys are very good at, you know, being hard to get. I would say plain, but you guys usually don't play. You're just hard to get. <laughs> but what they are telling you here is you need to take things slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race when we're talking about relationships. Now, if you've been dealing with someone for quite a while, and at this point you feel like you want commitment, what you need to understand is that if this, as an example, if you've been dealing with this person for over a year and there is nothing official, you're wasting your time. You need to keep it pushing. Um, they're not going to change their mind, especially if they've been vocal about not looking for anything long term right now. Um, you got to keep it pushing because you're just wasting time. This is a person that is extremely stubborn. Um, for those of you guys that are dealing with someone from the past or you've been dealing now, if a new person comes up into your life in the next coming weeks all the way to May, and they are a Taurus, could be sun or moon um, or rising, um, and this is a person that is very consistent, meaning when you are getting to know them, they're very consistent in texting and calling and, you know, just approaching you or, and trying to enchant you or, or, or trying to pursue you. Um, this is a good sign that this person is not wasting your time. So it's two different timelines that I'm seeing. So it could be two different messages for two different or, or for a few of you guys. There is a group that they're saying, if you've been dealing with someone for quite a while and up until now, there's no commitment, stop wasting your time. For those of you guys that are recently dealing with someone or will be uh, experiencing a new person coming into your life that is very consistent and proactive about pursuing you, put effort. Don't be hard to get Leo because this person um, expects to receive the same type of attention and effort. Okay. Definitely what's coming through for you guys. You guys are moving on to much more steady, uh, much more steady energy. They are definitely in advising and guiding you through this process. Um, for some of you guys that have been single for a while or that you have felt like relationships just don't seem to get to a point of elevation um, that you would like, you got to stop thinking that happiness is not for you or stop thinking that you, you won't be able to find the person that's right for you. Because what Spirit is telling you is you've had to go, go through these difficulties and trials and tribulations or date the wrong people to be able to really know exactly what it is that you want. When we date and when we experience relationships that don't work out, what they're teaching us there is what we don't want. So you have a more clear, concise picture or idea of the type of partner that you need. So take it as a positive thing. I definitely do see love coming towards you. Um, I do see new opportunities unfolding and something much more stable. 
Um, what they are telling you, though, is get out of your comfort zone, Leo. Stop uh, being stuck in the mud or stop, you know, going from your home to your work, from your work to your home. You need to broaden your horizons. You need to be a little bit more social. That's what's going to bring more changes to you. And learn to have fun, my lovelies. You guys need to um, get yourself out of the routine. That's going to be key for you guys in the next coming weeks. It is about uh, challenging yourself to putting yourself out there um, to break through routine and to break through um, anything that has you, yes, comfortable at this point in time, but um, is not really giving you much excitement, much, much. It's not really raising your vibration. I feel like you're kind of just taking it day by day without realizing that there's a lot of changes right around the corner. So my advice would be to truly uh, embrace this new energy that's coming. I see love um, opportunities all around you, especially in the month of May. Uh, but what they are telling you is get out of your comfort zone. All right, my lovelies, we are going now with Virgo. Let's see what is unfolding for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is unfolding for my lovely Virgos? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, here we go. Virgo, we're starting off here with the King of Wands, maybe dealing with fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. For some of you guys, you're undertaking a new approach when we're talking about relationships and romance. For some of you guys, you may be a little bit open or experienced being a little bit more open-minded in regards to the people that you've dated in the past in comparison to the people that you're willing to date now. So what I mean by that, for some of you guys, you're dating outside of what your normal is. Um, so as an example, if you have a specific type or someone that you're usually drawn to, a specific type of person or whatever it is, um, I definitely see you guys dating outside of the box. So you're being more open-minded. Maybe you are experiencing attracting people that you wouldn't usually attract, and that's kind of sparking your interest. But this is a very positive thing because I definitely see you guys being much more confident and standing in your power, Virgo. Now, we have here the Three of Cups, which is indicating to me being social, being uh, open, um, being around friends and loved ones, uh, I see you guys being much more proactive when it comes to your social life. For some of you guys, you will be introduced to someone um, through friends or colleagues is what they're saying. Um, and this could be a person that is a little bit more reserved uh, than what your usual type is. However, they're going to show you um, or they're going to teach you to see things from a different perspective. What I'm hearing is don't judge a book by its cover. Um, that's if you're not already dealing with someone that is not your usual type. Now, a major change that is going to be unfolding for you guys. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be dealing um, with people that are of your soul tribe. For some of you guys, a soulmate may be coming into your life, uh, especially they're saying here because of the Jupiter and the Pisces energy. So, uh, I feel like your planet alignments are currently assisting and helping you in drawing in or bringing in the person that is of that is more of what you're looking for when we're talking about partnerships and relationships. Now, I do want to put out there for those of you guys that have been dealing with someone um, that is very that has been very guarded or very inconsistent, kind of like they pull back and then they come back in a hot and cold type of energy. I see you guys walking away from this. And the reason why you're walking away is because you're realizing that you know exactly what it is that you want and you're not gonna waste your time anymore. You're not gonna sit there and baby someone or wait for someone to realize what your worth is. I see you like, I'm done putting, putting up with certain things or I'm done uh, being the one to have to carry a relationship. And that's a beautiful thing because I feel like pulling away from that, you're walking away being empowered, and that's what's bringing to you the person that is right for you, Virgo. 
Yeah, don't make way for anything that is of the past. Anything, anyone that's coming back around from the past or that recently has reached out to you, I feel like they're kind of just um, reliving the past or expecting for things to be the same as they were at some point. Revisiting the past is not going to help you right now. It's all about embracing new beginnings for you, Virgo. And it is also about walking away from anything that is not working and hasn't been working for quite a while. So again, um, if any people or new people that you're dealing with are recently popping out again and they're from the past, don't get yourself in an emotional entanglement <laughs> um, because it's really not worth it. It's not something that is going to be long lasting. What they want you to embrace is new beginnings, okay? All right, let's go now to Libra. Let's see what's going on with Libras. What is unfolding for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to love and romance? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In regards to love and romance, what is unfolding? Okay. So we have here the death card, major transformation that is unfolding. Someone from the past is coming back around Libra. This could be you revisiting the past. This could be you wanting to reach out to someone from your past. Um, and I feel like it has more to do with social media. So it could, yeah, it could mean um, that either you or someone's been spying on you through social media. And it's a person from the past, someone where you had a very deep emotional connection with. Now, I do see for some of you guys, you've been dealing or been in a relationship, um, but I feel like you reminisce or think about a specific person from your past, and lately you may experience like you're doing that a little bit more often, and the reason for that is because you guys are mirroring each other's energy. There's someone that's missing you, and you're missing them, and I see you guys like trying to look into what's been going on in your life, or they're doing the same looking at your social medias, trying to figure out if you're single and what has changed. Um, what they're telling you here is don't be surprised if you do hear from this person in the next coming weeks. Again, we're talking about planet alignments that are currently happening right now. Um, for a lot of you guys, it's revisiting the past or dealing with the situation that had to do with the past that were some things were left undone or unsaid. For some of you guys, this could be dealing with a water energy, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. For others of you, you may be dealing with Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. For others of you, you may be dealing with the Sagittarian energy here. We have Jupiter here as well. Um, and, and it could have been a situation where someone walked away from the relationship when things got difficult or when there was a major transformation that was happening in their life or surrounding their life. For some of you guys, it could have been dealing with a separation when uh, the person you were dealing with could have experienced some type of death in the family or some type of culmination, some type of ending that was very uh, psychologically and emotionally uh, heavy. Um, now, for others of you, it could have just been a very abrupt ending or breakup or separation. Um, and I definitely do see that person, again, reaching out or if you yourself was the one that pulled away from this connection, I do see you um, looking at them and making the effort of trying to reach out and trying to revisit that, that connection. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um, if you are experiencing this situation, I wouldn't necessarily take uh, an approach. I feel that it has more to do with uh, the 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 feeling uh, being overwhelmed or emotional and trying to uh, see what can come from it I do see that there is potential here because I feel like both of you guys are kind of marrying each other's energy but if it was you the one that didn't walk away and it was that other person I would told you I would tell you to hold off on messaging because I feel like they're the ones that are going to take the action now if it was you the one um that didn't walk away and it was them who walked away allow them to reach out if it's the other way around then you'd be the one to reach out because i feel that someone here is holding some type of grudge or some type of pain and if they're the ones that are holding on to that pain you should be the one to approach the situation um i think that that's what's going to bring balance to opening up communication all right my lovelies 
All right, now let's get to Scorpio. Let's see what's unfolding for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is unfolding for Scorpios? Here we go. We're starting off here with the star card, beautiful energy, hopefulness, uh, looking towards the future, making plans towards the future. Um, what they're telling you right now, Scorpio, is that it's important when we're talking about relationship and partnerships, not to not to be overly uh, analytical of your partner. Um, it's almost like a feeling of constantly feeling like you're judging them or like they're being judged. Um, it's kind of like that feeling of not being appreciated is what I'm hearing. Now, this could be vice versa because it is a general reading. So it could be you experiencing this or feeling like your partner has been very testy lately or like they're not communicating the way you would want them to communicate. But someone here is feeling a bit, um, a bit not appreciated. Now, what they are saying here is there is... A bit of frustration for some of you guys could be because there's lack of movement in regards to uh, the relationship or how committed the relationship is. Uh, for others of you, it could be experiencing the feeling of like everything is starting to unfold in a positive way. And all of a sudden when things are going well in your love life, uh, someone's coming back around trying to reach out or communicate with you where it has you a bit in your feelings yep and here's the thing oftentimes when we are emotionally invested in a person or in a relationship and we put up and we wait and we wait for them to want to take it to the other level to want to take it up a notch or make it official um, and the person is resisting that the moment they realize that you're willing to walk away or that you're willing to you know start dating again or put yourself out there is the moment they get in their feelings and they realize what they have. And I feel like for some of you guys, you may be dealing with this. I feel like someone is feeling like, I'm going to reach out. I'm, I'm, I'm ready now. I know what I want. But for some of you guys, you've already been dealing with someone else because I see two people around you. So there is a feeling of changes happening and you're looking at you're looking at it as positive and being optimistic and excited about this new beginning while the other person from your past is coming back around and i feel like they're kind of pulling on your heartstrings um what they're telling you here is embrace the new beginnings now for those of you guys that are currently single I feel around the time that you start to deal with someone that is willing to give you the commitment you've always wanted, you're going to be tested. You're going to be tested either by a person from your past coming back around, and this could have been a person that you were holding on to for quite a while, um, and it's almost like they're willing to meet your needs or to meet you halfway, but you're kind of, what they're telling you is you got to take a step back. Because if the person that you're currently dealing with or will be dealing with in the near future is willing to meet you all the way through, meaning they're not asking for halfway, they're willing to go all the way through, don't drop that ball to try to entertain something that in the past has let you down. Because you may miss this opportunity jeopardizing it while chasing a fantasy or an illusion that is not much grounded. All right, so... Yeah, I, I, I see you having choices. I see you having opportunities to move forward and then temptation shows up or someone from your past shows up and you're asking or wondering, is it destiny? Is it this? Is No, it's not. What it is is that this person is in their feelings because they see you moving on. Um, will it be consistent on their part? If they, if they haven't been consistent in the past, nothing's going to change. Um, so what they're telling you is embrace the new beginnings. It's time for you to expand your horizons and know that you deserve to be treated like a queen or like a king. Um, don't go back to where you felt stuck and you felt like it was you the one that was chasing or like you had to beg for them to give you attention or time. All right, my lovelies. 
Okie dokie. Now let's go to Sagittarius. Let's see what's unfolding for you Sagittarians out there. What's unfolding for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to love and romance. Love and romance. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance. All right, here we go. We have the Page of Wands. We're starting off here um, being very excited or very content. Um, communication uh, coming through for you. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with Earth Energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Uh, for others of you, you're looking at the possibilities of stabilizing some type of connection or relationship. Could be because um, you've been either dealing with someone uh, for a bit now, for a minute, um, and you were unsure whether you wanted to commit or what, whether you were ready to commit. For some of you guys, it could have been that you recently became single and started dealing um, with a new person that is almost feeling like they're ready. They're ready. They know what they want. And you're questioning or you're wondering, am I ready? I just came out of a relationship or I just came out of uh, something that just didn't work out. It's almost the feeling of like being it being too good to be true. Um, and you're guarded. You're guarded because you're feeling like, you know, I had to deal with all this type of uh, issues with people from the past. And this person seems to know exactly what it is that they want. Is it too good to be true? Understand, Sagittarius, that if it seems too good to be true. As an example, you've been dealing with this person for four months. And in those four months, there hasn't been a fight. There hasn't. It doesn't mean that it's too good to be true. It just means that you're in a healthy relationship or you're dealing with someone that is emotionally healthy um, because they know to express or they know how to express. Uh, Jupiter's energy here with the wheel of the year. Your luck is about to turn when we're talking about relationships, especially those of you guys that are single. I do see Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. For others of you, I see Aries, I see Aquarius, um, and I see Leo energy here. Um, but what they're telling you here with Jupiter's energy and the sun's energy, you're being blessed when we're talking about relationships. There's something about stabilizing a relationship or something that recently has unfolded. Now, if you've been dealing with someone from your past, meaning you've been dealing with someone um, you've been in this relationship for over two years, as an example, and things just continuously keep being rocky and it hasn't stabilized. This is not the person they're talking about because they're giving me an energy of a new connection or a new person coming into your life that is going to blow everybody out the water. Why? Because they are emotionally mature or emotionally ready um, to settle down. This is a person that is looking for a relationship. And I feel like for some of you guys, this is going to seem like a surprise. Now, there is a revelation that's happening here. Now, for others of you, what they're showing me here is you've had a bit of inconsistency if you've been in a relationship in the past. There's breakup separations going back, breakup separations going back. Um, and there's been a lot of instability in this relationship. And the reason why it's, you feel so restless is because at this point you feel like you've outgrown the relationship. Now, I do see you walking towards, like I said, earth energy, fire energy, air energy. I see all the signs here. But what they're telling me here is that for some of you guys, you're making the rational decision to walk away from something that has been very inconsistent and you're going towards something that is a blessing. So if there is a recent breakup or separation and you're going through the motions right now, be patient, Sagittarius, because spirit is telling you you've outgrown that relationship and we're pushing you towards the path that you should be walking towards the person that is deserving of your love and your effort. Um, I see uh, beautiful blessings, to be honest, with the Wheel of Fortune and the Sun card here. It's like the manifestation of the type of love you've always wanted or the type of partner you've always wanted. So beautiful reading for you guys. All right, my lovelies. So now let's go to <clears throat> Capricorn. Let's see what is 
unfolding for Capricorn Sun Moon Rising Venus. Like I said, if you guys enjoy these readings, definitely comment below, like, share. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can help us continuously keep growing the channel and connecting with all of you guys out there. All right, Capricorn Sun Moon Rising Venus, what is unfolding for them in regards to love and romance? Capricorn Sun Moon Rising Venus. Capricorn Sun Moon Rising Venus in regards to love and romance. Okay, here we go. We have the Page of Cups Capricorn. Exciting energy. A lot of new a lot of new people trying to get your attention. I feel like you're the flavor of the month. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Okay. So for some of you guys, you're going to be experiencing a lot of momentum. Yes, even those of you guys that are like, well, my love life has kind of sucked. Um, there is definitely a vigor when it comes to your relationships to love and romance. I feel like you're going to start to pull more attention or you're feeling like um, eyes are on you is what I'm hearing. Let's see what's going on. Oof. I see. I see. Options, my lovelies. Tons of options. Okay. So what they're showing me here is um, flavor of the month, right? And then we have the Empress card. The Empress card is knowing your worth. Uh, the Empress, in comparison to the Emperor, the Emperor has to take action. The Empress is just sitting pretty. So what they're telling you is be patient when we're talking about love and romance. For those of you guys that recently experienced some type of revelation, some type of separation, or some type of breakup, see this as a blessing. See this as um, a blessing in disguise. Why? Because what's crowning your energy is emotional fulfillment. This is the energy and vibration that you're sending out to the universe at this point in time. With the strength card, you have the strength, the courage, the pride, the confidence in knowing what it is that you deserve and not settling for anything less than that. I see a lot of you guys dating with purpose right now, even if it means walking away from a person you really like but you realize they're not looking for anything serious or they're not looking for any commitments. It's like you're refusing to put yourself in a situation that could eventually hurt your heart, hurt your feelings, or feel like you're being let down. What I'm hearing is I am no longer dealing with this. I am no longer dealing with being patient for people to get their life together in order to put or make a place in their life that could be for me you know what i mean you're not being patient anymore and that is a very beautiful energy why because we have a lot of major arcanas here we have the empress love this is libra's energy um this is venus energy this is really depending on where you have your venus placement in your natal chart that's what's being amplified right now so it makes sense why you're getting a lot of attention but use this in a positive way, Capricorn. Why? Because it's great to have options, right? It's great to have attention. But weed out the ones that are just wasting your time. Because with the world card, you already know what you're bringing to the table. You already know what you want. The nine of cups, you're looking for that emotional fulfillment. That person that is going to understand you. That person that is going to bring balance to your life. Not make it more difficult. So again... It's about priorities is what I'm hearing. Prioritize the people that you're dealing with or the people that you're going to be dealing with from now all the way to May. And there's a lot of people that are looking at your social medias. For some of you guys, this is um, uh, internet dating. For others of you, this is meeting or connecting with people through social medias. Um, for others of you, it could even be as random as meeting people when you're going on a grocery run or when you're going to a store to run errands. Um, I definitely see a lot of people coming towards you, but with the Four of Cups and Three of Wands, you're dating with purpose. You know exactly what it is that you want. Don't entertain anything that is not going to lead to anything, Capricorn. That's going to be your message for this month. Beautiful energy. All right. 
All right, let's go to Aquarius. Let's see what's unfolding for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For the month remaining of April, going into the month of May 2022. What's unfolding for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aquarius, Love and Romance. Okay, here we go. interesting energy here <clears throat> all right Aquarius now is not the time to doubt yourself now is not the time to put yourself in a position where you're dealing with someone and they've either made it known that they are in a very complex situation whether it's coming out of a recent relationship or whether it's um, coming out of a commitment. Um, what they're telling you here is it is important uh, to pay attention to the way people are communicating when we're talking about relationships. I feel oftentimes we can get so wrapped up into this idea of the people that we want to deal with or that we, we're looking for when we're talking about relationships. And oftentimes we don't really pay very close attention to how they express uh, pain or being patient in listening to the conversations that you actually have and to what they express or what they communicate oftentimes will let you know what their intentions are. I feel like you've put yourself in positions in the past that hasn't been very favorable for you, whether it was that they were emotionally unavailable or whether it was that they were still dealing with an ex or an ex was still in the picture. What they're telling you is walk away from this type of cycle. Let go of putting yourself in a situation that inevitably is a lose-lose situation. Um, again, pull away from people that are messy, people that are still dealing with baby mamas, baby daddies, people that are, I, you know, I've been married for so many years, but it's not working out. And at some point we're going to separate, but yet they're still living together. What they're telling you here is you are the one that chooses what you decide to put up with when we're talking about relationships. I see a person coming back around. This is a person that is from your past that could have potentially put you in this situation. And I feel like you were really emotionally invested in them that you may be tempted to revisit the past. But what Spirit is telling you is have pride. Okay, sometimes pride is a very amazing thing. Why? Because it puts us in a position of not allowing other people to walk all over us, not allowing people to take advantage of us. With the Six of Wands, there is attention. There is people coming towards you. There are, you are attracting, right? You're becoming a magnet for attraction, for love and romance. Don't revisit anything that is from the past. You've outgrown this cycle. At this point in time, there is a need for balance. There is a need for a give and take, not just give, give, give. You got to give as well as take. The Six of Pentacles indicating to me uh, with the Justice card, a person coming into your life that is going to bring um, much more stability, much more emotional and mental stability. Um, not people that are prone for drama, but a person that is much more emotionally mature. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with a Leo energy. For others, it could be Aries energy or Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. But what they're telling you here is end this cycle of putting yourself in very complex situations. Um, you have all the tools. You know what you deserve. You know what you bring to the table, Aquarius. Don't settle for anything that is wasting your time. Um very important also is to believe in yourself and to know what you deserve. Just because you've experienced, just because we experience a, a lot of things that are, in, you know, as an example, relationships that often lead us to uh, break up or separations, or you end up attracting people that are committed, or you end up attracting people that are emotionally unavailable or narcissistic or selfish 
it, it's not so much the people you're dealing with. It has more to do with the vibration that you carry, what you believe you deserve, which is why you entertain that. So at this point in time, what they're telling you is there's a lot that you have to offer Aquarius, but you got to put sometimes it's necessary to have pride to not allow ourselves to be dragged or to become a doormat. Now, if it's the other way around, as an example, it is a general reading. So for some of you guys, if you're the one that often finds yourself um, being the one that is a bit selfish when it's when we're talking about relationships, uh, be careful with that because potentially you could be making yourself or you can be doing a disservice to yourself by pushing people because you want them to prove themselves to you. But people that are in a in a healthy state of mind and they are emotionally mature, they're not going to put up with those type of games. They're not going to deal with that type of unavailability or emotional unavailability. So don't put yourself in a situation where you're pushing everyone away because you want them to fight for you. Sometimes that other person you're dealing with has gone through similar things as you and they're waiting for you to fight for them. Do you see what I'm saying? So what they're telling you here, it's all about balance when we're talking about relationships and partnerships. Okay, now we're going to go finally with Pisces. Let's see what is unfolding for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is unfolding for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to love and romance? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to love and romance. I feel like before I even pull the cards, I'm hearing for a lot of you guys, you have been, someone's been on your mind. Someone's been on your mind lately. Let's see what's going on with that. Oh. Yeah, I feel like you're in a situation right now, um, Pisces, where you're needing, you're needing some peace of mind. Um, you may be dealing with a situation where the person you've been dealing with is just not stepping up. They're just not putting the effort. They're just not willing to fight for you the way you want them to fight for you, the way you've been willing to fight for them. And in the past, though, you were willing to put the effort, willing to be patient in this process with the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles, it's like enough is enough. I've waited enough. I want action. They're not taking that action. They're not making that movement. There is some type of change around you, Pisces. There's this energy of being more confident or believing more in yourself of I'm not, I don't deserve to be treated this way. So at this point, you're kind of in your head about making a decision, whether it is to completely walk away from this situation and embrace a new beginning um, or for others of you entertaining a new beginning. Um, so what they're showing me here with the six of cups, there is a lot of opportunities that are unfolding for you when we're talking about love and romance. And I feel like for some of you guys, you're questioning why is this person willing to um, you know, go above and beyond when the person I've been dealing with for six months is not even texting me back on time or it takes them two days to respond. It's like you're seeing what's out there and you're realizing that up until now when your partner was making you feel like you were asking for too much, they were only giving you the bare minimum. And there is almost like going into this with wide open eyes at this point and you've realized that you deserve better. You deserve to be treated better. You deserve to ma be made a priority. And I feel you being very tempted to embrace a new beginning. Now, you do have the Ace of Wands here with the Death card. What they're telling you is there is transformation that is unfolding. You've gotten to the point of dealing with the situation for like long enough. It's gone long enough. And at this point, what Spirit is telling you is embrace those opportunities. Why? Because it's leading you to be able to put yourself in a situation of higher vibration and therefore being able to attract people with higher vibrations, people that have the same goals, the same aspirations as you, that are wanting or looking for the same type of relationship. Enough of putting up with 
the bare minimum is what I'm hearing. Now, for others of you, you've been putting a lot of effort and energy towards something that is just not working out. The month of May, let me be the first to tell you if you haven't heard, the month of May is going to bring to you a lot of opportunities. And with these opportunities, should you continue to hold on to something that is not working out, you will be very prone to stepping out of that relationship. Why? Because they're not meeting your emotional, physical, or mental um, needs. Uh, so what I mean by that is if they've been nothing but chaos, they're not bringing peace to you, they're not emotionally supporting you, they're not financially helping you. As an example, if you live with them and they expect you to be the one to pick up the tab all the time or they expect you to be the one to always you know, do for them and when it comes to you needing them, they do the bare minimum. At this point, I see you saying enough is enough. I am not dealing with this. And I feel you very tempted um, to put yourself out there. And you, like I said, there's a realization of they're willing to do so much for me when this person, all I've been asking and they made me feel like I was asking for too much. And in reality, you were settling for the bare minimum Pisces. So what they're telling you is embrace this new beginnings. Any endings that may happen from now all the way to May, embrace it with courage, embrace it with um, with grace, don't try to force or hold on to something that is not working out. Why? Because you're going to be surprised the blessings that start to unfold for you. The people that spirits start to bring into your life, your spirit guides that are trying to help you understand and see, Pisces, you deserve to be treated so much better. And here it is. Are you willing to accept it? Are you willing to receive love? The way you've been willing to freely give love, are you able to actually receive, to actually attain, to actually appreciate and take in love with the same passion, devotion, and commitment that you've been giving for so long uh, to past relationships? So it's about embracing new beginnings, my lovelies. I want to wish you guys all the very best. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings and um, wishing you guys the best. Good luck and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.